The Pantsire S1 rocket framework is a self-pushed surface-to-air rocket framework. It is designed to provide point air defense of military industrial administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and WAV apostrophe S. The viewer may note that the S-400 missile defense system is also protected by Pantsire S-1. A few of the Pantsire S-1 was given by Russia to the Assad system. In May, Israeli Defense Forces discharged a video indicating the annihilation of a Syrian Pantsire S-1, which came as a big embarrassment for Russia. In this video, World Report, breaks down how Israel crushed Russian Pantsire S-1 in Syria. Let's get into the details. The Pantsire S-1 is mobile and uses wheeled or track chassis. Its fire control system includes a target acquisition radar and dual waveband tracking radar that operates in the UHF and DHF waveband. The detection range is 36 kilometers, 22 miles, and the tracking range is 28 kilometers, 17 miles, for a target with 2 square meters, 22 square feet, arse. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also press the bell icon. The system has a 360-degree coverage and both the sensors use passive electronically scanned array. There is also an infrared radar that is capable of detecting, acquiring, and tracking targets even in low visibility conditions. Pantsire S1 is unique as it is the first version of the Pantsire family air defense system that combines short to medium range surface to air missile and anti aircraft artillery in a single platform. The surface to air missiles option is the 1257E6 or 57E6E2 stage solid fuel radio command guided missile. The missiles are arranged into two groups of six sealed ready to launch containers tubes on the turret. The missiles have a range of 20 km or 12 miles, max speed of Mach 3.8, and carry a 20 kg high explosive fragmentation warhead. Anti-aircraft artillery is the two dual 2A38M 30mm auto cannon guns that are fitted with 700 rounds. The crew can choose the kind of ammunition depending on the nature of the target which includes high explosive fragmentation or armor piercing rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 2500 rounds per minute per gun. The cannon has a range is up to 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles. Israeli Defense Force told the decision to strike the Syrian Pantsire S-1 anti-air missile system was made after it opened fire on Israeli aircraft. IDF said in its statement, the installation assaulted by Israel's Air Force terminated rockets at Israeli airplane to kill them. The IDF will continue to act against anyone who tries to harm the state of Israel and its inhabitants. These link to the footage is provided in the description below. Artek Bizhev, former deputy commander-in-chief of the Russian Air Force told Russian Today, that there could be two possible reasons for the failure of Pantsire S-1 in protecting itself. One is that it had just spent its ammo save. The other is that it was simply turned off, it wasn't battle ready. He continued, there can be no third option, as it wouldn't have let itself be destroyed. At the point when it's fight prepared, it performs steady observation of adversary airplanes and has a very fast reaction time. It would have cut down those journey rockets with either its guns or own missiles. If the theory of no ammunition is to be believed, then it can be concluded that Israel was able to get the critical element of surprise just like they did in the Six Day War, when they destroyed the Egyptian Air Force on ground when personnel was changing shifts and aircraft were not ready for combat. Israel may have got the intelligence from satellites or drones. If the remarks of not ready is believed, it is an utter lack of professionalism from the Syrian army. The system should have been camouflaged to hide it when it not ready for combat. Another probable reason could be that Pantsire S-1 was jammed or it was not able to detect the incoming weapon. Israel has not disclosed what kind of weapon was deployed to take it out through some reports suggest it was, Delilah missile. Delilah is explicitly intended to chase and crush the foe air resistance framework and is dubbed as air defense system killer by Israel. 
The missile has a maximum range of 250 to 300 kilometers, carries payloads between 30 to 54 kilograms, and can cruise at a speed of only Mach 0.3 to 0.7. The missile reportedly has an accuracy of 1 meter sep. The Delilah's radar signature is either too small or too high and the signature doesn't match the profile of a missile. It appears as a decoy while being detected by the enemy radar and may have been able to fool the Pantsir S-1. The Delilah is capable of autonomous search, identification, and loitering which is why it may have been able to pull off this strike. The exact circumstances are not clear from the information on hand, but the incident will surely be bad advertising for the Russian systems, and could financially hit Russia since it is heavily dependent on foreign military sales to run its economy. The operation again proves Israel's air force's prowess in seed, suppression of enemy air defenses, role.